I'm actually like really mad at myself because I wanted, um, I wanted to wear this new shirt that I got because I love it. But then like, I also want to show you guys like my stocking stuffers and because there's still construction in my house, I have nowhere to get ready. Don't. Okay. Anyway, I think my bathroom should be done this weekend, which means I'll have my master closet back, which means I have somewhere to get ready. Look how pretty this is. I'm dead, but I'm wearing the wrong shirt. And like, I really love this piece so much, but the shirt keeps covering it because it's just like the way the shirt lands really high, like neck. Stop. I'm already, um, see what I mean? Like I can't get through one minute of my life. Hi, um, can I get a tall mocha? I'm sorry, what size mocha? A tall mocha. Tall mocha, and you want whipped cream on there? Yes, please. Okay. Um, can you just put one pump of the chocolate in there, though? Just one pump of the mocha, okay. And then can you put that in a venti cup? I just want a lot of room. Okay, so just in a venti cup so with a lot of room? Yes. Um, no, thank you. Okay, perfect. Those will be 445 at the window. Thanks. Okay, um, they have put, usually put three pumps of chocolate in that fat fucking mocha drink, okay? So annoying. Why do you need three pumps of chocolate? Fat ass. Okay, um, so, hey guys. Okay, so I kind of want to tell you what happened to me this week. But, like, I'm actually annoyed. Okay, and also there's, like, a fucking tag up my ass. Like, why? It's like, like, why are these tags so hard on my ass? You know what I mean? From, like, the pants? Like, why do you do that? Okay, stop. Um, see what I mean? Like, like I really just really wanted this piece of show because I love it so much. But like this this t-shirt is like ruining like my vibe. Also, my sleepy droop is not correct. Should be like sleepier. It should be like that. Like I really fucked it up today. It's like too up. Oh my god, I'm like mad. Wow, that's actually like really ugly the way it's not positioned. Also, I have like a new thing with my eyebrows that I'm doing to make my face look like sleepier. I think it's just like cuter. I'm not like I have like no eyebrows. We know that, right? Um, I have no eyebrows, we know that, but like, um, so I fill them in and I usually like everyone who fills in their eyebrows, I put like more eyebrows like, um, here too. You know what I mean? I don't do that anymore. Like I'm putting very, I'm not even really, I'm doing a little bit here, but I'm not drawing anything more because I feel like for some reason it just like becomes like droopier, like a little bit sleepier. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like more of like a vibe. <sighs> By the way, I absolutely love the bag. Yes, I do. Um, it was just one of those like meant to be things and like do you see what i mean isn't that like so cute the way you can't even see my necklace like i just love that i love the way you like can't see my necklace like i just love that i'm gonna crash into this fucking wall now so what was i gonna say oh yeah this week i kind of want to tell you guys what's going on this week right? also at the end of the at the end of the show i do want to like try on um like where am i gonna like i don't know where i'm going i need to like park um i need to i want to try i got a pair of pants like jeans like oh my god like why do I look so good? They're a little bit much. Um, um, I kind of feel like I have my vibe back. This is about me, okay? This this video is about me. Yes, it is. Like, why else would you be here? I'm talking about my damn self. Like, I feel like I'm sitting here talking about myself, but yeah, like, who else am I talking about? Like, talking about myself, duh. Um, clean air van pool. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, what the fuck does that even mean? What are you talking about? Clean air van pool? If it's good lighting, I'm sitting here. I kind of liked it that way more. See, like, finding lighting is, like, really hard. Really, like, half of the problem. Okay. So, what was I saying? Look, this shirt is not cute with this outfit. With, like, okay, I need to brush my hair. Like, okay, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to start the video, but, like, so we're not starting the video yet. Video's not started. This is just, like, the... This is me getting ready to start the video. So, everyone just shut the fuck... Sit down and shut up. I don't want to be disturbed. Like, I feel like I'm going to be very disturbed around here. Like, why is this, why is this so busy here, you know? Um. Oh, I love the way they didn't, they did. They always do that because they assume that I don't, I only get one pump of mocha. They like, don't put whipped cream. Like, why do you think I get, like, you have to like cut the calories somewhere, bitch. Okay. So, um, I'm just trying, like the thing is it's really gloomy. Yeah. My car, this car is such a little bitch. I swear to God, this car is such a fucking little bitch. It cries about everything. Shut up, stupid car. Like, like I'm so sick of these cars being crybabies. It's like annoying. Anything so fucking temperamental. Shut your damn mouth. Okay, um, let me find good lighting. 
I just don't love the vibe. Like, I know everyone's like already irritated, but I don't care. Like, this is this is the way class starts. Like, I'm trying to find the fucking lighting. Um. Anyway, what was I saying about this week? So this week has been like crazy. I kind of want to like catch up with you guys, but I just feel like so ugly that I can't even do that. I'm just gonna pull in this neighborhood because like I just want to. I just don't want to drive around anymore. It's like I'm lost in here. Um. Okay, so let me just kind of start my story. Um, but I, okay, so this week is like, I'm, we're like working really hard for the, to get your Black Friday orders out. We're getting like, obviously, that's what I've been doing. But it's like, I'm just, because you guys know I hand make like basically 90% of the line. Like, yeah, I don't fucking hand make the gold stuff. Like, obviously we have a jeweler who does that. Like, you know what I mean? Like a fucking 14, like for my 14K, 10K things. Like I have a jeweler who does that. You know, I'm really sick of like the rumors about like, me not making the jewelry like i'm actually sick and tired of it like anyone og knows knows the fuck like and honestly it's not even like it's something that makes me so mad because it's not true and people love to like spread lies because they love to discredit me since day one since day one like people have loved to discredit me because like no one can do what i do like everyone tries to do what i do and like you fail because it's just like you don't get it okay like you don't get it it's not like something you can, i don't want to talk about it it's something weird like just i just it makes me so mad that, about like about the lies they spread like that I don't make the jewelry it really fucking pisses me off everyone knows I do like it's just fuck you so um where was I getting with this I really don't even know where I am right now I just need to stop somewhere that had good lighting okay so um Ming, stop. I parked by a park and there's like someone playing with their dog and she's freaking out. Like, Ming, I'll take you after. <coughs> Ming, enough. Enough is enough. Mingle oh, Ming, sit down. Go to sleep. <coughs> I'll take you after. Okay. So I think this is good lighting. Um, I kind of like, I don't know where I left off. I kind of cut off that like subject I was talking about, but I, I do want to talk about it really quickly. Um, so actually i think i forgot my brush too i feel like irvine is so woke i actually hate irvine so much it's just like i don't i have this theory on irvine i'm not gonna say it because i know a lot of you guys live here and i love irvine because i like you know i went to school here and i for some whatever fuck reason i wanted to live here so badly after like in one, i like wanted to live in one of the apartments like so badly after like college and then when do you guys remember when i moved out of my parents house when i started the line or whatever um, I lived here. I lived in Irvine. Um, it wasn't like woke then, but it's like really woke now. Like people are, people like in Irvine, like want it to be LA so bad. Like they actually make me sick to my stomach. I hate Irvine so much. Like I actually do. And I'm allowed to say that. Okay. For multiple reasons, because of free damn country. Okay. Don't, don't make me fight with you already. And also because I lived here. It's not like I have making an assumption about something. I don't know. I'm so sick of people fucking coming at me. Shut up. Okay. I'm already getting in a fight with you guys. First thing, like I'm honestly so annoyed. Are you, like, yes, it's nasal drip, okay? And also, like, this is really bothering me. Like, I can't get over it. Like, why did I have to wear this shirt? Out of all shirts to wear today, I had to wear this shirt. Like, and it's, like, it's, like, one, it's a baby shirt. It's, like, really cropped, as you can see. So, like, it's really high, you know what I mean? And it's not doing my cross any service. Like, it's literally pissing me the fuck off because it's, like, the, okay, I'm just gonna wear it like that because it's fine. But, like, it's, like, even prettier when it's on, like, skin. I need to stop. Okay, so what I was saying earlier is this, bitch is like, I'm actually really sick and tired of the rumors going around about me not making the jewelry. Like, it's actually really, uh, like it's like something about Alibaba. And I'm gonna like, I never ever address rumors, but it's just like something that hurts my feelings, to be honest, because what happens actually a lot of the time with Alibaba is they take my fucking pictures and they reproduce what I do and they say that, it's like what they're selling and it's not. It's happened multiple times. It's happened with my pearl earrings. It's happened with my HRH pouches. It's happened with multiple bracelets. It's happened a couple of necklaces. Like I'm honestly sick of it. So people see things on Alibaba with my fucking photo on it and they think it's I'm buying the jewelry from Alibaba and selling it to you guys. It's absolutely, it's so fucked and it's it's sick. Like there's nothing I can do. I'm such a small fish. Like yeah, I did email a few of them. Some of Sometimes they take it down because they just do. Some of Sometimes they don't give a fuck. 
fuck you know what i mean like there's it happens to all a lot of like designers out there i know with like china stealing pictures and saying that, that that's what you'll be getting when it's not it's like the designer's picture and they sell like a, a version that's nothing like it you know what i mean anyway I'm really tired of it, but like, it, it's like uh, something that it doesn't even really, it bothers me, but I never address it because it's not like anything's affecting me. You guys, it's not like you guys like see that and believe it. Cause you know, it's not true, but it's like dumb. Like, like really, I don't know. Anyway, what I was, what I, I think what, what, how I was getting into that is like that we're really busy this week. So you guys know I moved out of LA. So I'm about like, about, you know, like less than an hour away from my, um, from my office now from where I live. So this week, it's just been so busy that I decided to stay in a hotel. Like last minute, I was like, I'm just going to book two nights and like stay down downtown so that I don't have to go back to the house and drive up in the morning again. Because I had to be there. Like we had, I had to like spend a lot of time. You know what I mean? Like, and it's just like, then I'm doing something else this weekend. I might, may or may not share. I'm not sure. Like I'm doing something this weekend where like, I don't really want to do it, but I'm doing it because it's like kind of supporting a friend. It's like a nice thing to do. And it's like Christmas spirit. And I, I don't know. I just feel like I should, I, why, why not do it? Like might as well, even though it's like the worst timing because we're really that busy. Um, and yeah, anyway, I want to tell you guys, obviously I'm working really hard to get your orders out. And, um, you guys do know even the free gifts, like I, we all ha I hand make them. Yes. I have help. Like right now, like I have a guy, a kid, you know, his name is kid guy. His name is Noah. He also helps me with Ming. He helps me too. Cause like I need another hand, but like all handmade by me, you guys know that. So um we're getting them out but i know a lot of you guys are asking where your order is i think it's because you saw my stocking stuffers you know every year i do stocking stuffers i am going to show you guys the stocking stuffers yes today is going to be a little bit of a qvc kind of vibe if you don't like it get the fuck out of the classroom i'm biting anyway i don't like when people have an opinion like do you, why do you have an opinion on my channel like i'm sorry like i if, why do you have an opinion get the fuck off my channel no opinions allowed here i don't no opinions and no questions Just sit down and shut up the nerve like honestly the nerve of someone having a damn opinion okay so um every year for um christmas i do stocking stuffers hrh bougie stocking stuffers bitch hrh bougie stocking stuffers and they like are amazing okay it's something that i really like ex i really put a lot of work and effort into creating into creating and finding really amazing pieces that i know you guys will love okay for ridiculous prices like the thing about my stocking stuffers is this they will, they're like really, really reduced prices right now. And then after Christmas, I will either keep them on the line and the prices will jump or I'll take them off. So you'll never see them again. Okay. So it just depends. I don't know which I'm going to keep. I don't know which I'm not going to, I think like the really popular ones I keep online and the ones that aren't so popular, I take off or the ones that I like, whatever. It's like whatever I want to do. So I don't know which ones will stay, which ones will go, but they're all going to jump like to their normal prices, you can save like $40 on certain items. Okay. Like it's really crazy. I think it's like plus free shipping. The entire site is free U S shipping and discounted international shipping. So it's a double promo. You're getting ridiculous items, 14 K gold filled solid sterling silver pieces for really, really low prices, stocking stuff for prices. They're super bougie. These are obviously gifts you can do for yourself. Bougie stocking stuffers. Yes, bitch. Like we do buy ourselves gifts. Okay. Yes, of course we do um or like stocking stuffers for your friends and family they're that good it, a lot of them it, i'm not like yes right now we're shipping as fast as we can i'm not like guaranteeing christmas delivery but yes i am like we i'm shipping that fast where everything should get to you in time if you think there might be a time crunch ask me but like i'm saying yes we'll get them to you okay so before i yes i'm yes i will I, I, it's like I had to defend myself. I feel like I feel like you guys just want me here. I'm gonna. I'm sick of it. Like people ask me to do jewelry stuff all the time, so I'm gonna start doing some jewelry stuff. But like lately, I've been doing a lot of jewelry because I've been launching, and because now I have other launch shit. We're going through it. Yes, we are. Okay. And then afterwards, I want to show you guys. Did I did I tell you guys? I forgot what I said. But like, did I talk about the jeans? I want to like. I bought some things. I want to show you, and I want to put the jeans on with you guys. I bought these jeans, and it's like. I don't even know like why I look that good. You know what I mean? Like no one looks better than me in these jeans. Like it's true. And they're like that sick. And I, I want to talk about my vibe. But before we do, I'm going to get go through like stocking stuffers. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about my favorites. There are a lot. I think there's like 30 pieces. Okay. And don't worry. There's a blinking truck somewhere. Can you hear that shit? Like honestly, it's making my eye twitch. Okay. So the first one I'm going to talk about is my earrings. Okay. So I tweeted a couple of weeks ago or last week, I think that I'm like so obsessed with my ear stack. I shouldn't have put these on stocking stuffers. Like this should have been something I launched like after stocking stuffers, but it was one of those things where I just didn't want to take off this stack. So I was like, I'm just including them. Okay. 
so let me explain this to you you guys know the u-locks right i always wear my u-locks all the time well now i have a new version this is called the edge u-lock so they're more edgy and there are really thick gorgeous edges to them okay I love these kind of designs, like my U-locks and these edge U edged U-locks, um, because they're really great for spacing. Like you can wear one here and one in the back and then a bigger earring in the middle. And it just adds like a cuff look to your ear. Um, or you can wear three. Like I like a lot of the times I wear three. Okay. So those are the, um, edge U-locks in the back. I'm wearing the serpent lock hoop. Okay. Look at how ridiculous these are. They're sold individually so that you can like mix and match them. Here's the gold. Look at all the detail in it. It's like so high designer, right? Look at the big. I don't know if you can see actually how detailed it is. It's really, really pretty in gold or silver. So I'm wearing a silver on this side. I love it. I just feel like, I don't know. I love the gold and the silver. And this side I'm wearing all gold. So I'm wearing the um, Edge Ulox and I'm wearing the gold serpent. It's so sick. I love to wear that, wear this on my back piercing or like on my second. A lot of people would typically wear it on their first, but I like it on the back. I like to wear a big earring on the back. I just feel like it's such a vibe. This is like my new favorite thing. I'm obsessed. Okay. Then I'm going to talk about this one. Um, 14K gold filled chain. What the fuck did I name this? Okay. I don't even remember what I named this. I'm going to have a tr have trouble because I literally have so much to show you. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to show you my favorites, but this one is, um, I think it's the Madonna. Um, yeah, the Madonna cross and look at, well, you can see when it's on the skin more, but look at all the detail on like the, um, diamonds. And then this is 14 K gold filled. So this year I use a lot of 14 K gold filled chain because it's chain. That's like second best to real gold. Okay. So my 14 K gold filled chain is that high quality where you can wear it every day. And then if it starts to like darken, just not tarnish, but darken, you can polish it. So I love this chain. It's really cool. Like bar link and almost looks like invisible but it's not and it twinkles it's really 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 pretty and then it kind of goes perfectly with like the bar on of the cross too this is a really gorgeous piece i'm wearing this in 14 inches if you guys are curious um and yeah okay then it's the new boyfriend's cross every year i do well, last year and this year i did boyfriend cross you guys love this this is amazing for guys and girls i'm wearing the 20 inch and you get a you get a rope with it this is also really good quality rope it's 18k gold plated over stainless steel it's not going to tarnish it's amazing quality and then the cross which is really detailed comes off so you can have it like like that or like that okay these are probably going to stay in the line and the prices are going to jump i think you can save like I don't even know a lot at least i don't know i don't remember i don't remember everything is great okay rings okay so the rings these are all solid sterling silver solid sterling silver okay with real like gorgeous they look like the real thing like platinum platinum and diamonds so i have the pave chain rings okay and then i have the we bands oui like yes okay in french bands okay so let me do the pave chains and i have them stacked so there's a, a large and a smaller version and then i have it stacked with these this is hearts little hearts like um embedded like hearts all around eternity band or cushion so i have it stacked but you guys loved the eternity bands last year here it is in a bigger size so this is a heart in a bigger size um just so you guys can like see they are absolutely gorgeous solid sterling silver and really gorgeous sparkly um simulated diamonds okay really sick and i love to stack it like that um and then this is even let me show you guys this on the pinky i love it where's my chain ring so on the chain ring like that on the pinky i think is so sick like dead i don't i didn't know if i want to do this or this but i really fucking love that like it's so extra and I like it for some reason it's like on the side of your hand so like you see a lot of it you know what I mean this one like it too you you see it but it's closer to your body this is where you see more I don't know I just love it I'm wearing a size five in these in case you guys think we're the same size everyone's fingers are different though but oh I don't know I just I think I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll put like that there this is a thin one I know I'm wearing too many of these but I just can't decide and they're just so pretty okay then I have um I have a lot okay I, I just have like too much. I don't know. I'm trying to show you guys my favorites. Oh, I need to stop. Okay. Um, let me show you some crosses. So I love, obviously I'm really into crosses this year. This is sterling silver, but I want to show you guys the point of these is these are solid sterling silver pieces. So you can wear them every day. It comes on an adjustable chain. Um, and look at the diamonds in them. So these are two designs of 
your like design, designs that I have in my line already, but now they're solid sterling silver just for the stocking stuffers. So this one is exactly like my Orion, that Orion gold filled necklace that I did last year for stocking stuffers that I keep on my line now. So now I have a larger version in sterling silver. Also the baguette cross earring from my, um, the earring that I do like this. I also have it now as, um, a necklace as well and look how gorgeous that is so two sterling silver pieces that you can choose from crosses okay next are my pave treasuries i'm going to show you guys some bracelets i'm just going to show you guys these they come they're duos so they come like this or like this the miami or the curb and then i have the boy bracelets too these are unisex pieces for boys and girls they're called boy chain just because i I use them. I have also boy chain necklaces that I did a couple years ago and I use some of the chains from those. So there's two combos. You can choose this one or you can choose this one and it looks like two bracelets, but it's not. So it's really cool. And these are also stainless steel, really nice pieces. Just depends on which vibe you like. I feel like the boys are really loving these right now, but girls can order them too. Okay. Um, I have these are so cute little chubby sodas. Um, and the hoops that come in are really cute. So I have a black, a pink, chubby um, soda pop, white and lime green, um, like neon, neon lime. And of course the little, the neon and then the white one, the charm comes off so that you can put it on a chain if you want, or like, you know what I mean? Or wear the, um, or wear the hoop without it. So multi, whatever. Okay. Um, I have a lot of Jewish stars. I got, I did Jewish star earrings and I did sterling silver Jewish star of David's. So just, I just have a lot of different things. Here is the, um, the larger star of David, um, for my Jewish customers. And it's really, really pretty. This is baguettes and rounds. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a larger one. I also have a smaller one. Okay. Um, and here's a little earring, which I think is so cute. I also have them in the fort. Little Jewish, little Jewish star is so adorable. Okay, that. And um, I also have it available in pendants on 14K gold filled chain um, Jewish stars. So you can choose all three stars or you can just choose one star and you can choose it on a box chain or you can choose it on um, this twinkly kind of chain really cute and they're 14k gold filled okay 14k gold filled which is really really amazing quality okay then i did a like 1970s white wedding ring collection okay you guys love my and i did a 70s um earring collection too okay i'm gonna show you the earring collection and the ring i think we're done oh i gotta show you that too i fucking love all of this stuff you guys okay so here's the ring collection. Wait, where is the other ring? There's one more ring. Where's the diamond? Where's the diamond? Here, okay. So here, let me show you guys. I don't know if this will fit. Yeah, well, okay. So here is the um, 19, these are sol solid sterling silver as well. So you can wear them every day. They're not gonna tarnish, it's real. You can polish them. So this is a 1970s vibe, um, white wedding, I call it. And I feel like they're all really, um, like 70s vibe this is the deco the heart and the diamond and look at how big the center stone is on that so pretty okay mix like it's just such a fucking vibe i love it i love i love the pinky rings i don't know why i love this ring um this one's really limited i think just so you guys know if you're like if your eyes out on some things there's some things i don't have a lot of so get what you can for the price that it is now Okay, then, okay, let me show you guys the earrings. You guys do love these. I have a chubby set of earrings this year too. So it's all this style. So it is a, a large, a medium, and a small, and you can layer them. I think they're like $30 or something. And then this is the 70s everyday. Should I put it on for you? I'm gonna put it on for you. I'm just gonna put it on for you. Okay, let me take everything off. And put on, so this is the 70s, and this is, you guys love when I do these 70s um, style. Sets. It's just really easy. Like, I did the work for you. Get If you have two or three piercings, get them. You know what I mean? And then it's done. And they're really, really... Um, they are really pretty earrings. They're not, like, going to hang weird or whatever. But look how cool that is. 
Like it's just so sick. They layer perfectly. It's such a vibe. You're not gonna see this anywhere. Like I just love it. So that is really cool. Okay, that's that. And it's like a rope design as you can see and then a big and a small. Okay, and I'm so excited. Okay, then I'm gonna put um, my faux deco piercings. All right, so they're little cascades or little um, diamond, they're little clip-ons, okay? So if you're like me, who I was like thinking about getting a fourth piercing, but I didn't because I just can't commit. I like the way my three are here and I just don't wanna regret it in the future. That's why I don't get tattoos either because it's just too permanent for me. Um, three was even a lot for me, honestly, because I like whatever, it's fine, I love it because I have like a bigger ear, so it's fine, but like it was just a big commitment. So if you ever wanna get like another piercing, but you're not sure, these are perfect. Okay, so let me show you the cascade. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it, especially if your hair up or like, you know, one side like that. These are sold as singles, so you don't have to buy a pair, gold and silver. Okay, and then I have also the diamond one. And I love these. You can put it here even, or you can put it up here. It just depends on where you want, but how cute is that? It's just something different, something that it like adds another layer to your ear stack. And I really love it. Really cool for the holidays and like whenever as well. So those are those. And I just got it clipped in my hair, but okay. That's that. I know like, don't you guys love when I'm like, and then I have like, I have some, look at this. I have, this is so cute. It's a pendant class bracelet with a big heart on it. And then I have one with a pave clasp on it and a pave closure on it. It's really cute. I, I just have, I have a lot. Okay. I love this too. I love this new piece. It's a LA deco and um, the charm comes off. So you'll be able to wear this stainless steel chain alone or have the charm on. Um, it's a really unique statement piece. Isn't that cool? It's like a light pink and emerald accents with pave and the moon in the middle. I think it's just so cool to layer with like band shirts or whatever. I love this. Okay, cool. So I have a lot more. I just, I, I don't want to like sit here and go through every single piece. I'm actually just really pissed that like this is not being highlighted the way I want it to. And um, I'm just mad as fuck about it. Okay, so that's that. Um, I want to also talk about, so I got this. What do you guys think? Okay. So you guys know I love going to Marshalls. Yes, I do. Even though you're like making fun of me about it. Okay. I got this. What do you think? Okay. It's, is I feel like it is so basic, but like for some reason it's like, I look, I think I look really good in it, but am I even going to wear this? So gross. Okay. It's for a child. It's BB. Oh my God. It's for a child. Look at the child hat gloves. Like it's so weird, but look, like, why do I look cute in this color? You know what I mean? Like, it's so ugly. Like, I hate it. Like, it's such a, so, like, nerd, isn't it? But it's, like, so cute. So I would never wear it here. But I think I would, like, wear it, like, skiing or something. Okay, should I? I'm not returning it for $8. But, like, I just don't, like, it's not the money. I just don't like things, like, crowding my life. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to have this in my life. Let's give it away, you know? Like, am I wearing this skiing or, like, out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, when I go skiing, am I going to wear this? I don't know. Not skiing. But, you know, like, out around the town or something. Um... Let me know what you guys think I should do with that, honestly, because I, I really don't know at this point. And it's like kind of one of those things like sitting in my closet, like where I keep my clothes right now. And it's like stressing me out. Okay, so um, then I want to show you guys just the, some shoes I got because I know you were probably thinking, wondering from like last week what happened. But okay, so, you know, I got the Mew Mews. I wanted to show you these. I wore them this week and um, you probably saw on Insta. I love them. And then my LV shoes came. I, I love them too. They're really expensive, like not worth it. But the thing is with these, you guys know that like, you know, my Fendi, like the, the fluffy ones I have from Fendi, like the, the fur ones. And then the other Fendi, the other pa two pairs of Fendi sides, like, slides I have, like I wear those into the ground. Like there's literally holes on the, like in the leather on them. I wear them that much. So I'll definitely get a lot of use out of these. I hope they don't get dirty because they're light, but whatever. I don't like live to like, people like so protective of their shit. They like are so weird. I still love these by the way. Like I really actually hate that. It's like they're a pair of damn shoes. Like what do you think? It's a fucking hope diamond. Shut up. Like 
I hate people that are like, so like careful about their like weird about their things. Like it's just kind of like I don't know. Like they don't wear anything because I don't want to ruin it. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. It's like ew. Like why'd you buy it? You know? I don't know. Okay, that and then okay. Um, also, I forgot to remind you. So now, everyone who did get this, congratulations. Um, you guys love this too. We're, we're super busy. Like, I, we're we're super busy, which is great. Like, I just didn't expect you guys to like like these as much. So I'm like in the process of getting more made. Um, but yeah, I don't make the boxes. Yeah, can you imagine people? Are, oh my god, you didn't make the boxes. It's like that's what you do. That's you. That's you. That's what you do. Like. You're that stupid where you're like, you like try to, you think you like, you like caught me, like try to catch me. You think I make the boxes? Are you that dumb? Yeah, you are. That's what you do. Like, that's how people do. I'm not kidding. Like, see what I mean? Like, you see what I damn mean? Freak. Okay. Anyway, bitch, before I was really interrupted by tr freak, tr freak. Okay. The ugly freak. Yes, the ugly loser freak. Um, so now I warned you guys, I fucking warned your ass that now orders 350 and over will get this and for a limited time too. I just want, don't, I want to keep it going because I just love it so much. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to say that yes, as of now, $350 and over is getting this. Even though I don't know. She's going to kill me. She's like, no, <laughs> we don't have any, but, um, I think I, okay. I don't know. Is it? I should check. I'm going to put it in the bottom if we can still do that right now or if we're waiting. I feel like calling her and asking her. No. Hey, wait, is this my business or is it Judy's anymore? It's so weird, right? I swear to God, this shirt is like ruining my life. Okay. The next thing is, um, okay, the pants. Before I, I'm going to show you guys the pants I got. And yes, I went to Tilly's. Yes, I did go to Tilly's. Who just going to Tilly's? Someone, la some, like last week, someone was like, you're too old to go to Tilly's. Like, do you think I'm, you're so stupid. First of all, um, First of all, bitch, I look younger than you. A thousand percent. I know for sure I look younger than you. Like, you're ugly a thousand percent. Like, the people who try me are ugly every time. Like, no one pretty has ever tried me. Ever. Ever. Okay? Like, they just don't. Like, pretty people don't try other, people, other pretty people. That's how you know you're ugly. If you're trying me, you're ugly. Do you know that? Okay, let's just get that straight. That's, like, a new thing we need to add to the list. Because if you're if you are trying me, you are ugly. It's just a proven fact. Like actually throughout the years of having a YouTube channel, um, and being on social media, it is a proven ass fact. You fucking idiot. Okay. So yes, I went to Tilly's. So yes, I did. And I bought multiple things and you would never even know I got them from Tilly's, you idiot. Okay. So I went to get the Dickies because it's a vibe and, um, I didn't want, I, you know what I hate? I hate when like, this is what I hate. I hate bitches. I'm clapping because I clap, I get pissed. I hate so much, dude, when people, like designers, like Dickies, for example, they try to put out like a new vibe or a new twist on something and it's like, it just ruins. Like, no, it's not cute. Like, why do you try this? Put your Dickies out as is, as they were from like the 90s or whenever I wore them. Like, I went, remember when I went to private school for like a couple of years because my parents thought I was going to have my ass beat in like, in public for um high school. Um, for the uniform, we could wear dickies as the bottoms, like blue dickies. So what year was that, would that have been? I don't even remember. Was that like 98, 97, something like that? I have no idea. So yeah, 90s, bitch. Um, I, we used to wear dickies and I was like, anyway, I forget what I, I forget where I was going with this, but, um, I got these and, um, I got them to their bit, their room, their roomy. But the thing is, like, I don't understand the sizing on this because I'm not a 31. <laughs> like, I'm really not. I'm like, a, I'm actually a 27. Um, so I don't understand the sizing on these, unless I'm just really fat right now. But it's not because I know my other size, like my Levi's, I'm a 27. So I don't know. I don't know. I think they might be boy guys, and just because the people's girls are like obviously different body shape, I don't know. But I got these, and I really like them. Um, okay. So the star of the show is this. And yes, I got my vibe back. I am so excited because I got some like random things. That I just think is like, I guess I'm a gatekeeper. I am a gate gatekeeper and I've done a lot of work in like, I don't buy things just to buy things. No, I do not. It's very rare that I see someone that I, that I, that I like and that I think has a good vibe. And even when I think they do, they fuck it up by doing something as like, no, you killed it. You know what I mean? I would have done that differently. So... I have no vibe lately. We know that. Like, I'm lost. And it's because I don't have... I am literally living in a bomb shelter as far as a construction zone. 
and um hopefully I, my bathroom will be finished this weekend so i'll have my closet back and I, I, I literally it's like i'm gonna like be able to like live a normal life like i've been living i'm like homeless seriously um yeah i'm homeless and i just even like if you guys saw how i've been getting ready i don't know how i've even been managing to put anything together because i don't have anywhere to do it like i have it's the weirdest thing i can't explain it so i just needed some things and i hate expensive clothes like it's just something where I hate expensive clothes. Like, it's just, I can't stand it. Like, I think it's so cringy. It's like someone who carries around like a Birkin, like a Birkin 35. What is that? What is that like standard size bag? And they have it like, and they close it on the front. They don't just like leave it open and fuck it up. It's like a nerd. You're a nerd. If you're wearing like, like expensive clothing, like it just doesn't look good. It looks like, it's like so try hard to me. Like, I, I don't think I'd ever be caught dead in a Zimmerman dress. It's like, you know, it, you see it, you know exactly what it is. Like, bo expensive boho. It's like tacky as cringe. I don't like expensive clothes. I don't. Like, I, I hate them, okay? I think having an expensive jacket or, like, an expensive something is cool, okay? Like, one piece, you know, here and there. But I think if you're able to, like, look really expensive by not spending a lot of money... Like, I do. Yes, that's what I do. Yes, I do. Pat on the damn back, bitch. Um, it's, like, so much more of a vibe. You know what I mean? So, the thing is that I started to look too cheap, I feel like. Because I think I, when everything is something, if I have, if you have, like, everything from, like, the store, right? Everything H&M. Or, like, everything from Urban. Or, like, everything from Brandy. Like, you start to look dumb. And that's what I was looking at. I was like, wait. Like, actually, I'm like, this is, there's, this is weird. Like, I have no vibe anymore. The vibe is gone. Like, it's not cute. It's just, like, tired as shit. Like, I need some other pieces to, like, mix into this. You know what I mean? Okay. Got it. You get it, right? Okay. So, my bags were like disgusting. Like, I don't know who chose those bags. Like I didn't choose, choose any of those bags. Like all of a sudden I looked at my bags. I was like, wait, what? Who? Like, why did you, why would you ever buy that in a million years? So I was like, don't, I didn't know who chose those bags. I had to get new bags. So I got a new bag. The bag is like shit, the shit. I love it so much. I feel like the Dickies are cute. I'm gonna wear like the Dickies. I think, I'm not sure if I'll wear it with this. It might be a little bit too like loud. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure yet. Okay. We'll check back later. Shut up. Okay. But then I saw, I, I told you guys, my friend Jenna, she has like really good style, really good style. I love her. Um, but she like is really tiny. Okay. So it's hard. I, I can't, I can't dress like her because it's just like, it's, it's different. Right. And no, and no, not everyone should be dressing the same. I don't care. People are like, it doesn't matter. You have a body, wear it. No, bitch. Are you kidding me? No. Okay stupid i hate that it's so dumb you think like a fat ash or a fat crop top no they should not all okay. right um you heard it here yes this is the truth I'm not, i don't live in a clown world i don't live in a damn clown okay why are we not showing my earrings like i love them okay so um i just like so much more when i have like that that swoop you know what i mean and like my earrings are showing on this side like if my hair is clean like it is right now my earrings don't show like pissing me off like i look like a nerd okay um hmm it's writing. Okay. So Jenna, anyway, she has like everything really nice. But the thing with her is that she has really expensive clothes. All of them are expensive. Like, but oh my God, it's torrential downpour. Wow. Can you hear me? I don't know. So, but like she, for some reason, because she's like so tiny and everything is very curated. Like you can tell she's very particular. Like I went and visited her at the hotel. She was staying at a hotel. I went and visited her and I like looked in her closet and I was like, everything is very specifically curated. Like it's thought out and it looks perfect. She's like a little doll in like a dollhouse, you know what I mean? Kind of thing. It's like done really well. Um, so that's like not me. Okay. That's like not me. I'm more like boyish. Um, like I would wear a lot of her clothes, but I'd probably put like a big, um, like sweatshirt with it or something like that and edge it up more. Anyway, I saw that she was wearing these jeans. Okay. These are muggler jeans and they were like they this is the thing i don't spend a lot of money on clothes we know that but it was one of those things where like too cool to pass up i don't these are forever jeans yes they are i will have these forever i probably won't wear them forever but it's one of those things that like it's just something to have in my collection because they're that weird okay they're that weird but they're that normal like they're just a pair of jeans but they're fucking weird as shit okay it's like it's like these it's like these dickies i could keep these forever you know what i mean they're just car they're just like like camo dickies you know what i mean they, you can always wear them like they're just camo dickies like these are you know what i mean like i i love that kind of stuff like i love 
I love when I find pieces that are like not that are trendy, but they're not, you know what I mean? Like these are not actually trendy pieces. They're actually classics, but they're like a little bit weird. Um, anyway, so I put these on, I like after I came home last night and I like ordered, I had like five, six packages. I never have packages. I never order anything. I don't like order shit. I don't know what it is. I don't buy anything. Well, if you guys, if I buy something, you guys know about it. I don't know why, because I just don't like anything. Like, nothing is good. I also got, like, a bunch of Fiorucci stuff um, from their Black Friday sale. And I love Fiorucci. I just feel like it's very, um, I think it's pretty. It's cute. I think the little angels are adorable. And I, th I know it's, like, a classic. Like, it's been around for a very long time, since, like, the 60s or 70s. And I really like that. It's, like, cool. And I don't, I just love it. So I got, like, three or four, four things from them. And I got these and I got something else um, that I was really excited about. Also, I got a pair of sunglasses that are coming soon. I'm so stoked. I got it. They had to, I had to order them in from Russia or something or like somewhere around there um, because like no one sells this brand anywhere. They're really cool. I hope they look good on me. Um, and yeah, so I, I okay. So yeah, I, I got these. I'm, I'm going to, I tried them on last night and I was like, wow, like, wow, who are you? So I want to put them on with you. I just feel like I have my vibe back. I have like, I have enough things now, bitch, in my repertoire to be able to mix and match. I have those hoodies from last week. I have my new bag. I have like the H&M stuff that I'm not like super hot over. But I now that I have like a few better pieces, it like, it like substantiates the vibe. It secures it. You know what I mean? It makes it it, it like hardens it. I can't explain it. It was too flimsy before. It was too like, it was, was obviously H&M with a bag from a few seasons ago. It was just like, no, like stop. You know what I mean? Ew. Like, and it's not my fault. Like there's nothing out there. I've searched high and low. Like there's nothing cute. No, there's not. Don't tell me something's cute. Nothing's cute. Okay. I have tried like to find bags. I've tried because like, nothing is, I have tried to find shoes. Like, I'm sorry. And no, you did not know. Did we even know? Like, I never, like, do we even know Mew Mew was selling these? Like, no, I never saw them. Like, no, we didn't see them. You didn't see them either. Shut up. So it's like, I, you know, and these are like so cute. Like, it's like things like that. Like, I, I had to like see them to be able to like, be like that's it, you know? Okay. So I'm going to go home now. Um, and I'm going to try on this stuff with you. I want to try on the, the jeans with you. Not everything. Everything else you'll have to see. I kind of want to save the jeans just to like show you guys later, but. I feel like I'll just give it to you. Yes, I am using my tester. Yes, I am using a tester. We know the story. Don't fucking pick me apart about it. You can shut your damn mouth. Yes, I do use tester. Okay, yes. If you know the story, it's on you. Uh, I love this color. It's the best color ever. Um, I also use it here. And I, it's like the best. Because I lost my fetus cream. I don't know where it went. And actually, oh my god. this. Whenever I do this, I think, think of a really sad story. Do you want me to tell you? It's really sad. Um, so my grand, my great grandma was in like, um, a concentration camp. I'm not kidding. You guys are like, you guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I have Jewish blood in me, but I'm, was ba baptized Greek Orthodox. Um, anyway, um, so I heard a story about when they were in like, she, okay. The story is that she was like <sighs> saved or whatever. She didn't like, they, they didn't kill her because one of the one of like the the one of like the Nazis the guards liked her or something I don't know I don't want to talk about it it's like it's such so, so a subject I know for a lot of people to think about but whenever I put this on my face I think about it because I heard that they used to like cut themselves to like get blood and then like to make their cheeks rosy you know what I mean so like so they would be more attractive and um it's like it it, it this is the thing like it's true okay. You guys, I had, okay, so when I stayed in the hotel the past two days, I had no clothes, right? I had to have, like, my boyfriend, like, bring me clothes from his house, like, just to, like, survive, right? You know what I mean? Like, to, like, wear clothes, to survive, right? And then, like, I didn't want to be ugly. I had no makeup. Like, I literally don't have any makeup with me. What do I carry? Let me see what I carry. I carry, let me see if I have it with me, yeah. So, all I carry is this. Like, I don't have anything. I have that that I showed you. I have, like, a lip liner and then... A brown and then sleepy droop stuff so but you can't do, do sleepy droop unless you have like the, anyway so I, was like, I look so ugly so i just put this on my bare skin like on here and here and i looked so young i look so cute actually i went for the coffee at the ace hotel um and like one of you guys somebody a, some, a pair of sisters like ran into me and i had no makeup on nothing but i kind of like looked okay and then we took out photos or whatever um and i kind of like looked okay actually but like it's like it reminds me of that like isn't that kind of sad but it's like so primitive like to like just make your cheeks rosy with whatever you can. And I feel like if you find a good lip lip color, um, you can also just use it um, 
I just like your cheeks too. I just love that. It's like, you don't have to complicate things. Like I'm so annoyed by it. Like over like people like just like stupid. Like I just like, no, and no, like ditch the highlighter. You you're so ugly. Ditch the highlighter, ditch the fucking colors all over your damn face. Like ditch the fucking eyeshadows. I can't stand it. Like if you're old, stop. Okay, dude, I'm serious. If you're old, do not put fucking shiny shit in your eyes. Make sure you look wrinkled even more. Like I'm, I'm done. Like I'm like done with people. Like I'm like done, done and being like fucking unaware. I am sick of people being unaware. Call it out. Okay. Tell people like help them. Like, no, it doesn't look good. Okay, and I'm really sick of this necklace not being the where, where it should and it getting it's irritating the fuck out of me. Okay. I'm gonna put my shoe. I'm gonna need to, I really need to put my jeans on now and like show you guys. This is pillow talk, I think. <gasps> oh my god, I think my sunglasses are delivered. Oh my god, should we go check? <gasps> I just got a notification from DHL. Is that them? What else did I order DHL? It has to be that. Oh my god. Let's go check. Okay, so they did come. And also, um, I have my tree, my like my Christmas tree and stuff that I did. I feel like I'm gonna show that to Patreon though first. I might show it here, I don't know, like how in depth I'll do it. Um, but or maybe I'll I don't know. I just have like I have a lot of stuff I can show you guys. Um just like want it to be done it's not thousand percent done but i love the way i guys i did my tree so sick like it's actually it's like old hollywood vibe okay i hope these look good i gotta try on the jeans for you too Let's see. dhl right i was like oh my god what else did i order from dhl or with dhl It's like a velvet case. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. Oh my god, I'm cutting this shit off. Obviously, I'm keeping them forever. I hate with that sticky shit. love them. Can we see the lighting is like there? <laughs> I'm just so dead over them. They are so fucking cool. Wow. <laughs> I literally got my fucking vibe back. Okay, here we go. Okay. I would never wear it with this shirt though. It's what I just had on. Okay, so let me put the sweatshirt on just so we can see it. This, remember the sweatshirt from last week that I bought? I already fucked it up. I got a bleach stain right on the front. Okay, they're really high though. Okay, now wait till you see the back. Where's the cross? Okay. I think we'll look good with the, like the shoes on. See how it just like makes me like really hourglassy though, which I don't love because it's really tight. The waistband is like really tight um, and like sits on the waist and then it like really hugs. I like to be straighter, so it's a little like weird for me, but 
I want to be, I want like a man's body, not a woman's body. <laughs> okay, Do you think with these? Should I try it with these? Okay, let me just try it with these. I don't have any socks right now, but let's just see. No, I don't think so. Let me go look. on the sweatshirt but I feel like not this sweatshirt I'm so pissed I fucked the sweatshirt up like honestly okay hold on not this sweatshirt but like a sweatshirt like that not this big, but like, right? Does that look better? Like, isn't this so offensive? Like, isn't this so offensive? I was trying to get a photo there, okay. I don't know. Okay, so that's it. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love these so much. All right, hey guys, again missing, gone missing on this fucking high ass shirt. Stupid ass. So cute though. All right, guys, I love you. Go check out the stocking stuffers and.